It's Christmas Cunting Day! As I've said several times across videos today, or will do, depending on when this goes out. But it is Christmas Day! Happy Christmas, Merry Christmas, if you celebrate it or not, it is the season of goodwill, giving, and not being a prick to each other, so... Have a good fucking day, whatever. But Christmas Day, honestly one of the best fucking days. Slightly less special now they don't have Doctor Who specials on, unless they've announced one of those in the next last 25 days, which they probably haven't. But it's Christmas Day. And you know what Christmas Day wins? Wins? Means? It wins? Wins nothing. You have lost. Capitalism has got you. But it means... And my voice is going. Because I'm so excited. All the shouting and Brussels sprouts. Oh, my voice is gone. And Brussels sprouts are the tits, by the way. I'm just saying. Brussels sprouts are the fucking bomb, and we should respect them more. In fact, they're literally, they are quite like tiny little bombs, but we'll get to that later. We won't. Uh, it's time to find out what number one is. What I think is the most fucking defining game of this entire fucking decade. What was the game that had the biggest influence on all video games this decade? All video games. Something more than Minecraft, something more than The Outer Wilds, or God of War, or Skyrim, The Witcher, Binding of Isaac, Fortnite, PUBG, FTL, Red Dead Redemption, Hello Miami, you may want to see The Stanley Parable, KSP, Obra Dinn, Papers, Please, Stardew Valley, Cuphead, Jackbox, Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sonic Mania, Beat Saber, Run Tell, City Skylines, No Man's Sky, Watch Dogs 2, and Pokemon Go. What was the game that I think defined this fucking generation more than any of those? Number one! <coughs> Demon's Souls, a game I have never actually played. However, Demon's Souls, I think, is the most defining game of this thing. It came out in Europe in 2010, so I can fucking count it. I mean, until I found out that fact I was going to put Dark Souls here, because I feel like Demon's Souls started an entirely new fucking genre of games. An entirely new genre of I mean, how many games have come out that were like, have been like Demon's Souls? How many Souls-like games have we had? And things inspired by it? We've, I mean, like, I was saying yesterday, Minecraft has got, like, you know, some stuff that comes out is good, and, you know, it's a kind of mixed bag, but Demon's Souls, what we got? Dark Souls, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Salt and Sanctuary, uh, Blasphemous, fucking Jedi Fallen Order, Neo, The Surge, Titan Souls, Lord of the Fallen, Dark Mouse, Ashen, Dead Cells, Hollow Knight, that's an incredible fucking list of games, and that's just the ones off my fucking head. Nothing. I feel like nothing has touched this gaming landscape more than Dark Souls. Like, the amount of... Th like, put this in your head. EA's most recent single-player big-budget game, which was a Star Wars game designed for mass-market appeal, took influence from Demon Souls. You got your fucking bonfires, you're respawning enemies, you're fucking oh, you need to get, having to get your souls back at the end of the thing, or whatever the fucking it, force points, XP, I think they didn't actually bother to... Should have been midichlorians! Ah! Oh, missed a trick there. But, you know, so many games. And that's a, that's a fucking... That's a Disney-approved, big-budget fucking... They were like, no, oh, you can't dismember the things. Can we make it really fucking hard? Oh, fuck, make it really fucking hard! <laughs> like, no game... I feel like when... Demon's Souls came out, I think it was sort of, because it was PS3 exclusive, I feel like Dark Souls is when it really hit the big time. So this award's going to Dark Souls, Demon's Souls. But Demon's Souls was the first. I feel like it was like a fucking tectonic shift in the industry. From everyone I was talking to, everyone went, oh, everything's different now. Like, everything was just like, oh, this. We can do, like, and especially as Dark Souls started getting bigger and bigger and more popular, it was really a case of, oh, no, it... it we can make it, we can steal these bits, we can put these bits in our game, we can get this, like that sort of decaying tone, like we went from this sort of grim dark and then everything got lighter for a bit, but I feel like there's this still this like, it's kind of what the whole gritty thing wanted to be, is what Demon Souls and Dark Souls brought to the table, it's that decay, it's the decaying world, it's the, you know, the, everything is a crumbling ruin, nothing is alive, everything is sad and broken and in the case of Bloodborne, confusing as fucking all balls. 
but I just that that's kind of the dark and gritty people want. It's not swearing and tits like that. Got it. The PS3 era like started this sort of everything going brown and sad and blur, and then Demon Souls came along, and then Dark Souls later, and just kind of went. Actually, this is what we meant. We meant we went this. We meant this sort of almost like fucking like nihilism with the faintest glimmer of hope. Just a little maybe or carry on is the thing if you give the Cthulhu monster a soul, maybe. But you'll be a slug. You know, it, it just... Nothing like it. Nothing like that series. Even though it's not a series, it's a one-off, but technically it's a series. You know, nothing like it. At all. And now everything's like it. How many fucking games have you seen that were advertised as like Dark Souls mixed with? It's become that it's that game that everything is, you know, compared to you. I've never seen something like, oh, we're going to be the Dark Souls killer. Because they only can emulate it. They can never beat it. And I think Demon's Souls was beaten by Dark Souls. I think Dark Souls was beaten by Bloodborne. And I think Bloodborne has a better world. Sekiro has better gameplay. And I think that might be sort of maybe Plateau. We've got Elden Ring coming up next. Which would be, hopefully, really fucking like it. And it's a game. It's a game type I can never get bored of. Like the, when you go, when you open a door and you're like, "Oh fuck, where am I now?" And it's a place you've been before, and you're like, oh, "I know where I am." Oh fuck yes! And it's that relief, that warm, lovely relief from sort of. It feels like the sort of uh, Metroidvanias have grown up. That's what I feel like it is. It's it's that sort of evolution of the Metroidvania. It's like, all right, let's push this further and let's take the hardness from those early sort of games and make it fair. Sometimes, like that fucking graveyard and that fucking tree boss, you know, not fair uh, because of slight problems. But major the majority of the time, just fair across the board. And I just think that it's... I mean, this is... Remember the first video I did, which was on the original Dark Souls? I didn't like it. I, it was, I was like, it's hard, it's miserable, it's hard for being the sake of it. But I kept... Something kept pulling me back to it. It's a game I actively didn't like. It's like when you eat a little thing and you're like, oh, that's fucking weird. Give me another bit of that. You know, it's it's that sort of... It just... It pulled me back in. It kept pulling me in. And it kept, and then eventually I was like, Oh, no. It's the... Oh, I get... Oh, no. I understand. And the more I understood, the more I enjoyed. And the more I enjoyed, the fucking better time I had. And now everything from software makes... That I'm going to fucking buy. Anything that's like... It's like Dark Souls mixed with... I'm like, yeah, no. All right. Tell me more. And it's weird that the closer they get to Dark... Like, the more they spread away from Dark Souls, the worse they get. Like, even they're not bad. Like, I really fucking love Jedi Fallen Order. I think it's great. But, like, if you're over here with, like, like right up close to Dark Souls, like, Hollow Knight, which is, like, what if Dark Souls but chibi. And, but also fucking hor horrific. And, you know, you got these stuff like Salt and Sanctuary and Blasphemous doing the 2D thing. That's fucking great. And then you got stuff like The Surge. Apparently The Surge 2 is really good. Not touched to get really kind of wanted. Then you got the stuff like Dead Cells, which was inspired by the Dark Souls thing. And it's just, it's blossomed and it's bloomed and it's weird that a game that's so much about decay and death has just spread so much life into this fucking industry and I just think it all started with Demon Souls which if you live in Japan or America didn't come out in this decade but fuck you anyway that's my list we're done that is the what I consider to be the top 25 games that define this generation um I'll see you again in 10 years to do this <laughs> only kidding YouTube won't be real and also We'll probably all be swimming. Not by choice. Or on fire. Merry Christmas! Eh! Oh, we're fired. <laughs> sprouts. Too many fucking sprouts, man.